Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the new Halloween body care that I just recently picked up from Bath & Body Works. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything that I picked up, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, y'all, but I know it's so early to be talking about it. Low key, I'm not gonna lie, I felt kind of crazy going in the store and picking up Halloween stuff and it was 95 degrees outside, but I mean, it's all in fun. So I went ahead and got my stuff early. There are no sales going on right now other than the three for one, which really isn't that big of a savings. So I mostly use a whole bunch of rewards that I had and I only paid full price for one item, oh, maybe two items, a mini and then a regular full size. So let's start out with the new packaging in Ghoul Friend. And this is what the mini looks like. There's like a little mirror in there with a little skeleton in it. And the big size looks just like this mini. And then I also picked up the matching lotion to go with that one. So the lotion may give you a little bit more inside of what it's gonna look like when you actually have the full size. But I don't think I ever picked up Ghoul Friend last year. And I don't know why I didn't, but y'all, I smelled it this year and I was like, wait a minute, why did I pass up on this one? Because this one has like some, some type of strawberries in it. It has some citrusy notes and I don't wanna spray these on my skin because I already have something on. But y'all, I actually like Girlfriend this year. I don't know if they changed the formula or if I was just smelling too many things in the store, but I'm not really sure why I ended up passing up on this one, but I really do like it more so in the spray than in the lotion, surprisingly. So this one has notes of dark cherries. You have some ghostly peony and spice chilling citrus. Yeah, and y'all, that is so good. So it kind of smells like a sparkly type of strawberry to me. But in a sense, it kind of reminds me of like the dark cherry soda for whatever reason. It doesn't smell exactly like cherries. I don't know. It's just giving me that like fizziness that you would get from a darker type of soda. And I really do like it. It's a different take on strawberries. You do get a little bit of that citrusiness in here. I really don't pull that much peony on my skin because I had this on my skin earlier. I just get a whole bunch of these like sparkling strawberries if you like strawberries with a touch of citrusiness and maybe you didn't pick up girlfriend or you really liked it just so you know it is back in stores i know everybody is so excited about these everybody's talking about them i think that when there's a sale on the big size i'm gonna get the big one because i actually really do enjoy this one and so far from what i can remember the projection of this one was really nice so yeah it reminds me of halloween like dark Twizzler candy or like dark licorice. Doesn't smell like dark licorice, but it just puts you in mind of all the dark things for Halloween. <laughs> oh, and that is just so fun. So I'm happy that I gave this one another chance this year because it's fun, it smells good, and it's kind of getting me in the fall vibes mood. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really nice. So once again, that is Girlfriend. The next one that I picked up, y'all, I really didn't need, but I just wanted to pick it up because I thought the new packaging was cute and I kind of wanted to compare it to the one that I had from last year. And this is the newest packaging in Vampire Blood. And if you look closely, there's like a spider on there. And in real life, I can't stand these spiders. I have this big spider bite on my arm that I got in like, girl, like ninth grade. So I can't stand spiders, but on this packaging, I just think it's fun. And you know, Halloween is about spiders and ghosts and all the ghouly things. So if you're not familiar with this one, this one has notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum. Love me a good plum note. And y'all, when I smelled it this year, for whatever reason, it smells a little bit softer to my nose. It smells a little stronger in the cap, but when I had this one on my skin, it wasn't as potent as I remember the previous year. So this is what it looks like in the mini, and then this is what it looks like in comparison to the full size from last year. So this one has like a rose, a red rose on it that's kind of like a light shining on it. I really did like this one. This one is a little bit creepier, a little bit more gothy. I don't mind them either way, but I actually preferred this formula a little bit more just because I remember this one being way stronger. And it was one of my favorite releases from the Halloween collection. 
But now that I'm smelling it in the cap, y'all, I think I was tripping. <laughs> it does smell very similar. It's just a slight difference. I think in the caps though, which is why I always say try to spray it on your skin if you can, you're not getting the full body of the body mist. In the cap, this new one smells stronger than the one from last year, but on my skin, the new one didn't wear as long as this one and it just wasn't as pronounced. So if you never got the one from last year, I would still say pick up the one from this year because really it's just like a slight difference and I'm probably still gonna pick up the newest packaging in the big size when they do have a sale because I just like this. And this is a really good layering body mist with so many of our favorite berries and plums and strawberries. So I wouldn't mind having a second one, but if you like all the creepy things for Halloween, I think you would really enjoy the packaging for that one. And the last thing that I picked up was the most anticipated, I think, that everybody wanted to get their hands on because this is the only one that's new this year, I believe. Everything else is, you know, repackaged from previous years. But this is the one that I paid full price for y'all and I got the full size. And this is Candy Apple Cauldron. And y'all, that green, is that not so fun? Oh, I love the way that looks. And I'm not really sure if a cauldron is a bird or not but it looks like there's a bird on here i mean there's an eye looking at you so i'm thinking there's like wings right here maybe this is some type of creepy bird i i, I have no idea but if that's what it is then they got that down because it definitely looks like a, a bird just creeping and peeking looking at you in the middle of the night which is so creepy and i also got the matching body lotion to go with that i use a reward for this one so Again, only paid for this. So in this one, you have notes of mysterious green apple, simmering sugar, and crystallized bergamot. And I know so many people have been curious as to, does it smell like a green apple? Does it smell like a candy apple? What does it smell like, you know? And y'all, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little baby dent in there. Since I picked this up, what, yesterday? Y'all, I can't stop spraying this on myself. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so fun. This is so fun. And it is a very realistic, ugh, like green apple, like a very sweet type of green apple. It's not overly sugary at all. Oh my gosh, but it just reminds you of just slicing open a green apple with some sugar on it or something, you know? But honestly, what came to mind when I smelled this was, you know those big ball bubble gums that you can get the green ones that were like the green apple flavor? That's exactly what this smells like to me. And I think it's so, so fun. The only thing that I think would have made this one a little bit better is if it wasn't so soft because it's not very strong like uh, Wicked Vanilla Woods or anything like that that's a very heavy projector. This one sits a little bit closer to your skin and it's not super, super loud. So if you're not into fragrances that are super sugary sweet like a ice lemon pound cake or um, strawberry pound cake, this is not thick like that at all. It truly does remind you of, you know, a green apple with some sugar on it. Oh my gosh, y'all. And I think it also smells like, what is it? The green Jolly Rancher? Yeah, but it's very, very soft. So just keep that in mind. But y'all, all day yesterday, all day yesterday, I couldn't stop doing this. I couldn't stop doing it. And on my skin, it just remains smelling like a candy apple to me. It doesn't change into something else. I just think it's a very soft, whimsical type of scent. It's not what I expected. I thought that it was gonna be like a super dense, sugary, green Jolly Rancher. And it's that, but just, you know, it's probably that simmering sugar up in here that's just like, you know, it's sugary, but it's, you know, it's just simmering. You know how you boil some water on the stove and it's like, you know, it's just a, a light simmer, maybe before you put your rice in or whatever you're cooking. Think of simmering some sugar. It's not gonna be overly potent. It's not gonna be doing the most. It's just gonna, it's gonna be there, but like whiffs of it. That's kind of what this puts me in mind of. And I really do like it. I really do like it. And as soon as there's a sale, I'm getting a backup. I didn't get the, the body wash to this, but I smelled it and it smelled amazing. I just really need a good sale to be going on in order to get the whole, you know, trio. 
for now i'm good with this the lotion let me see if it smells a little different the lotion to me does smell sweeter so if you're looking for more of a realistic candied apple type of smell then the lotion is a little bit more potent to my nose but i mean if you just layer these together you'll be fine i think that this one is going to be a hit or a miss for a lot of people. Some people may go into it thinking, oh, this is not as sweet as I wanted it to be. And it's not as loud as I want it to be. But for me, I really do like it. I think it's fun. It's cute. And y'all already know what I'm going to pair this with. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, oh, yeah, well, duh. If I want to make it a little bit sweeter, of course, I'm going to pair it with my Casablanca by Swiss Arabian because this is that caramel apple that we all love. It's sweet and oh y'all it's just a delicious type of smell and then putting this candy apple on top of it it's just going to emphasize more of that apple and give it more sweetness that maybe some people are craving but y'all i wore this last night and it was so good y'all it was so good if you don't have this y'all this is very affordable i can't remember how much it is but i think i got this for maybe around 30 or 40 dollars and the longevity of this is amazing which is going to help out with the longevity of this one this is a beastly type of fragrance on my skin i think it projects very much and this one doesn't so i think that this will grab onto this and this is a really nice combination and i'm gonna just put it on again because i really did enjoy it and then this on top y'all Oh, this is about to be so good. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, this is gonna get everybody in all the fall moods, the fall vibes. Oh yeah. Y'all see I have my, I think that's the vampire blood candle going in the background. I'm trying to hold on to summer as much as I can because I know a lot of people love summer. I am not a summer girly that just loves it like that. I just, you know, I enjoy the seasons that we're in. But this is just transporting me way past summer and I'm in fall already, y'all. I'm over the summer because y'all, I just, I can't do it no more, okay? I'm ready for these type of decadent, rich, sweet, gourmand type of fragrances. And I might just start wearing everything right now, even though it's really hot. This is so fun, y'all. This is so fun. So any of your apple fragrances, I think this would go well with. I'm not saying you need to pair this with anything. I really do enjoy it on its own. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go get a backup. And I definitely want the shower gel in this. Mm, but I think this is a really nice addition to the whole collection. Um, yeah, so I really do like green apple cauldron and that's it for everything that i picked up because i didn't do any online orders and even if i did i don't think that would have been here by now but if you guys never were able to get your hands on wicked vanilla woods they do now have that online it's an online exclusive so you guys could get that at some point i think i'm gonna get the lotion to that because i don't think i have the lotion i only have the original wicked vanilla woods from a couple years ago at least this is the one that i have maybe this came out prior to this packaging but this is the only packaging that i have and i really do like this one and y'all this scent i say it every time i pull this out this is one of the sexiest vanillas that bath and body works ever came out with in my opinion <sighs> stop it oh yeah like girl if you're single wear this on a date this is so good in this one you have notes of magical vanilla glowing amber wood and enchanted pink pepper anything with pink pepper is just it just amps up that sexiness this is so nice so if you never got it you can get it now i'm probably not going to get the body mist because i do have a backup uh, i might get it but i'm probably just going to get the lotion and then i also have two more collections that i had from last year that i was looking for in the store y'all but i didn't see it so i don't think they brought these back but i thought they were really good they have them in the candle form which by the way y'all the candles are so expensive i don't know why they did us like that but if y'all have looked have y'all seen that most of these candles like the one in the back everlasting magic oil friend all the other ones wicked vanilla wood Y'all, they are all like $69 because they all have these like crazy antique 
looking type of tops like you have a glow on one and it's like a skeleton on another one like on the top and y'all we really didn't need all of that we just need another round of halloween candles to come out that are just basic y'all just the basic candle and a regular lid because 69 dollars that is crazy i've never seen the candles be that expensive and any of the halloween decor like the the big train or the house the haunted house i think that's like 200 and something dollars like who who is paying this type of money for that type of stuff for me, I think you can spend your money so much wiser than spending it on like something like that. I don't know. Listen, if you love <laughs> getting all that type of antique one of a kind collector's items type of things and you just have frivolous money like that to just throw away at Bath and Body Works and y'all know all the other stuff that is also coming out. Like we have the new fall collection that's dropping on Monday. We have so many things that are coming out. I just, you know. I have to be a little bit smarter with my money than that. So I think that that was kind of a disappointment for a lot of people because it could have been a little nicer to all of us that are constantly shopping there and we really look forward to Halloween. But I digress. So the one that they didn't bring back in body care, at least I didn't see it from last year, is Everlasting Magic. That's what it looked like in the body mist and this is what it looked like in the body cream. I really did love this one and I love pairing this one with so many of my perfumes. So I'm happy that I have one of these. It would have been nice to have a backup, but if they don't bring it out, then I'm happy I have this one. And then the other one that they didn't bring back, or at least I didn't see it, was Midnight Spell. And this was like a very dark, mysterious type of packaging. But this one to me was probably the most mature one out of the whole collection that came out last year. This one had Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. And it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I liked it enough to pick it up. Ooh, oh, I like it even better this year though. Ooh, yeah, that got some depth to it. It's a little smoky, a little woodsy. That is another one that I would wear on a date, y'all. This is really good. This is very, very sexy and grown. And I really do like it. I don't remember liking this one as much. Or maybe I just forgot what it smells like, y'all. Because y'all know I have hundreds of body mess, So it probably just got lost in the back somewhere. But this one is really nice. So it would have been nice if they would have brought these two out. But at least we got our Wicked Vanilla Woods back. So of the three, this is definitely the best one. I'm just happy that I have all of them from last year and this year now. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are all the things that I picked up and those are all the things that I had from last year too. Y'all, I'm really excited about Halloween, all the things that are coming up. And I really like this new Candy Apple Cauldron. Get the comments, let me know if you guys picked it up yet. What do you think about it? Do you think it's sweet enough? Do you think it smells like a realistic candy apple? Mmm, I really do enjoy it. It is a little refreshing too, probably because of that bergamot. Let me know, what do you guys think? You think it's a hit or is it a miss? If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Share it with a friend or two. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.